if uh, fully successful, it would make the crops self-fertilizing for nitrogen. And this is a key requirement for sustainable agriculture now and in the years ahead. What TED's done is taking atmospheric nitrogen, we can unlock that and we have a key, like it's in our padlock, we unlock the nitrogen from the atmosphere and get it into the crops, any crop in the world. So it's really exciting and it's stimulated interest from government level to potential collaborators already. Plants can't fix nitrogen from the air themselves. They need to link up with a suitable nitrogen fixing bacterium and this particular nitrogen fixing bacterium uh, that we found in sugarcane enables a very wide range of crop plants to fix nitrogen in symbiotic interaction with these nitrogen fixing bacteria. Only legumes can get their nitrogen from the air by symbiotic interaction with nitrogen fixing bacteria. We're going to spread this to all the major cereals of the world and other non-legume crops. All the crop plants produce a root system and this root system can be interacted with a nitrogen fixing bacterium such as the one we're working with from sugarcane and this will invade the young cells of the root here and these will become invaded and you will get intracellular colonization of the root cells. What does that mean? Intracellular colonization of the root cells means that uh, these uh, bacteria which are here are inside the cell, they're in the cytoplasm of the cell, they're actually surrounded by a membrane in the cytoplasm. So they're set up home in an organized way so that they can fix nitrogen in those cells and get energy for that fixation from the plant's photosynthesis. There are some crops which can already fix nitrogen from the air but the major crops of the world, uh, the cereals and other non-legume crops, uh, are unable to do this. And this is the major challenge for agriculture. And to become sustainable using biological systems, biologically occurring nitrogen-fixing bacteria, to fix the nitrogen from the air so that it's available to these other major crops. When we initially started, it was failure but then we found that we could stimulate the bacterium to get inside by giving it some sucrose. It was the key, I think, uh, because this bacterium grows in sugarcane and uh, it's in sugarcane juice and this is a very rich source of sucrose and it likes this stimulation to begin with and then it gets inside the cell and it's happy because it can get even more sucrose from the plant carrying out photosynthesis. The seeds uh, require the bacteria to be present when the seeds are sown so to ensure that the bacteria are there as the seed germinates uh, what we're doing is we're coating the seeds with this nitrogen fixing bacterium. Uh, you use an equivalent of a hairspray sticker to get the bacteria to attach to the seeds and as the seeds germinate then the bacteria will be waiting. They'll be waiting to interact with the emerging root of the seed. This work has taken on this particular specific bacterium it's taken about 12 years. It's taken so long because we were adventurers. Um, we didn't know that this bacterium would work and get inside plant cells. And indeed, uh, most people that we spoke to assured us that it would never get into plant cells. It will transform uh, global food security because so much effort goes in to the production of synthetic nitrogen fertilizers. The cost of them, uh, the negative effects on the environment of using them, and also the negative effects on the environment of polluting them. So this is providing a major inroad into sustainable agriculture where one is not using uh, uh, chemical reactions but one is using biological systems which are environmentally friendly. The nitrogen market is worth in excess of 80 billion. 
On that basis, we capture a few percent of that. This is a game changer technology.